Hey y'all, hey, Amanda here, and today we are going to take a look at my makeup collection and storage. Since that was a requested video, I've gone ahead and filmed it. But before we get into that, we are checking out this Medusa's makeup lipstick that recently came in the March subscription, and this is in the color Chica. So I will show you guys that, because I have some thoughts on this. Now the first thought is, before I even put this on, it smells strange. Not rancid, not bad, but like, it smells almost like crayon-like, like waxy, if that makes sense. And this other one that I have in the color Triple X does not smell like that. It doesn't have much of a smell at all. Maybe like faintly fragrant, but there's like really not much of a smell to this at all. So the fact that this had such a strong, like weird material smell kind of caught me off guard it kind of made me feel like is this old or something i don't know the other thing is while i actually kind of like the color on me it's patchy as i'll get out like i don't think it'll show up on camera because for some reason the camera just doesn't show just how patchy lipsticks are on me but i have my mirror right here in front of me and i tried really hard to get this even and it is so so uneven like really uneven and I don't know if it's just it being too emollient versus not pigmented enough I'm not sure what is going on there but like you can't even layer it because it just it just pushes it around if you try to layer it doesn't actually really add much of anything on top so I'm kind of disappointed because one it doesn't really look anything like the picture does on the website on the picture on the website the picture of this lip product the color looks really deeply richly pigmented and from a distance I actually really like how this looks on me but up close it's just not delivering yeah I don't know I'm not super satisfied with it so I think I'll probably end up giving this away to a friend who's better at working makeup magic than I am because I don't have the patience to really work with stuff like this. Like I really want to like it, I do. But you could just see lip straight through patches of this and it's disappointing. So that's my review on this lipstick stay tuned for future videos i still have more products to use and give you guys reviews on so without further ado let's talk about this video so i share the items i use i go through almost a lot of the different brands and specifics um i'm gonna show you how i organize my makeup <laughs> it might be way less makeup than you might it be expecting because of me doing these videos but I do tend to give away a lot of stuff even though for me this is a lot like a lot a lot <laughs> and I still feel like I have too much so yeah that is what you can expect in this video and without further ado here is my makeup collection so here is where I store my makeup in this Alex drawer but before we get to that, a few of the items I use in my makeup, and please ignore the smudges on the wall. When we moved in, the flipper had done the whole house in flat paint. So painting is on the to-do list for this year. But anyway, over here is stuff I use for my makeup. So this is my light up mirror that Austin got me for my birthday. And then I have just this little magnifying mirror. This comes with one too, but I just like this one better got all the brushes I'm using currently and my tweezers, a little container of q-tips and tissues. So I tend to reach for all these things. I wanted to include that. Those all live on top of my desk, but let's go ahead and look through the drawers. Now the drawers only pull out so far as you'll see. And we can't see things further back. So with each drawer, I'll go ahead and pull out everything and sit it on the desk and then we can look through it as well. So this top drawer is for things that I am currently using a lot or things that I um, go through often so I store them here and then there's also items that are new to the collection that I want to show in videos and then things that I want to use up like some of these lip products I've had up for a long time so I keep them up top so they're top of mind so I know I need to use them up but let me pull it all out 
and we can go through it. So here's all the makeup I keep in that top drawer. So I have this little container and this just has primers that I have. I just store all of them in here because I only have these ones that come in the subscriptions. So currently I'm using this one, the K-Gloss one, and I haven't opened these two yet. In this little container, um, I want to say this is from the Target dollar section like a million years ago, I just have chapstick, chap balms, lip balms, those kind of products that I plan to use at my desk. I've used this one quite a bit. <laughs> um, I have one on my little station, my workstation. I have this one on the workstation right now, and then once this one is used up, I'll move one of those over to my workstation. But I use this one for like video calls because it just makes you look a little extra put together. In this little box, I have this First Aid Beauty skin tint that I end up using in a lot of videos. And then I also have this Alias skin tint, which I'm obsessed with. It's probably my favorite skin product right now. I have rubbed all the writing off of this. I don't remember what it was, but it came in one of my subscription boxes a long time ago. And this is an eye base and two cream eye bases. Uh, a sharpener for eye products and then two MAC singles from a million years ago that are just good all over lid colors. You will see I have a lot of stuff in here that is not vegan cruelty free because I've had this stuff for so, so long, like years. It just takes me a very long time to get through makeup because I don't wear it every day. So a lot of things I'm just still working on using up and then planning to get rid of and not repurchase. In this box down here, I've got these gel eye mask things. They're much better when you uh, keep them in the fridge or the freezer, but I always forget they're there. So just got them in here. And if I want to use them, I need to think to actually go put them in the fridge or the freezer and then I can use them. I've got a, I don't know what this brand is, Brilliant Beauty. I have no idea where this came from, but I've got a lash curler. And then I've got all of the extra eyeliners and mascaras that have come in my boxes over time or that I've had for one reason or another. And I will reach for a new one of these whenever I finish one that I'm actively using. The ones I actively use, I keep to the side. There's a little nook in the drawer where there's like nothing and I keep these there and they fit perfectly. So right now I'm using this tiny little KV um, KVD tattoo liner as my liquid liner and then I'm using this Pacifica pencil as my pencil liner and then I have this right here the best little mascara ever I was using that for um, leaving the house but as it got older it did start to flake a little so now I only use this for videos and it's just about on its last leg I probably only have like one or two uses left in that and then for everyday wear or leaving the house I've been using the Evio Beauty one and I will say it doesn't give a ton of impact it's definitely not the one you want to reach for for going out a night on the town but it is a nice everyday one and the packaging just feels nice in your hands in this other little box over here, I've got all the lipsticks that I'm trying to use up. Now, some of these are just because they're old, and some of these are because there's literally, like, a nub left on them, and I just want to get through them and get it finished and get it out of my collection. So, as I mentioned, a lot of these are not vegan cruelty-free. You'll see a lot of Maybelline. You'll see uh, a MAC. Uh, and so I'm just trying to get through these. I purchased them. I want to limit my consumerism and not buy a ton more and use up what I have. So that is what I'm doing there. And then I have these Bite Beauty sample ones. I put all these in here because basically they're so tiny to begin with that um, I should probably make uh, them a priority to use up. I've also got this uh, MAC Simpsons lip gloss that I've used a decent amount of and need to finish up. I've got this. I don't even know where this is from. What brand is this? Mally. I've used like half of that and I need to finish that up. 
and then just a couple other glosses that are priorities for me to finish and then I put this lip liner in here because this is a color family I tend to wear a lot and I forget that I own lip liners so I stuck it in here to remind myself to use it with lipsticks whether it be these or another one that I wear. That brings us to the only actual like plastic storage container I have. I used a bunch of like boxes. This is from Lush. Those are old petite vor boxes. So uh, you don't need to buy organization stuff. You can just work with what you've got. But here I have what's left of my 100% pure concealer, which broken, but I'm trying to get through and use up all of that. This is a really nice concealer. And then also broken is the bronzer, the old Pop Beauty bronzer I'm trying to finish up. And then we have this MAC blush that I just threw in here to try and get some use into. And then the Laura Mercier highlighter that I've been trying to use up. And then in this one we have, let's see, two really old Becca illuminators or highlighters. I like to add those in with foundation. Once again, um, you could see they're really significantly dented into, but I really need to make a point to finish them. And then the Alicia Beauty Illuminator, which I love. This is the Joer, Joey Essential High Coverage Concealer Pen, which I'm obsessed with. I use the color Lace. I love this. This might be my favorite concealer ever. And I really love the 100% Pure one, but I think I love this one more. And then the Milk Makeup. This is the Baked bronzer. This is a really nice bronzer for um, fair people. If you want a cream bronzer, I like that one. Over here, I've got one of these little razor blades for cleaning up your brows, and I've got all the brow products. So the e.l.f. and the uh, Anastasia, and then this is the clear brow gel I'm using right now, and this is the brow product I'm trying to use up. This Tarte dual ended thing, the sketch and set. One end is a colored um, brow gel and one end's a pencil. So I'm just trying to finish this up and get it out of the way because it's kind of long, kind of a uh, pain in the butt to store. Or here we have powders. I don't know how I ended up with so many uh, loose powders, but we've got the blur and set. Is this for milk? I think this might be for milk. Makeup. We have this is the Tarte Foundation in Fair Honey. This is the Amazonian Clay Foundation, which is nice, but I have to definitely be in an oily skin season of life. I've got this powder. Um, it's a sponge made for using powder, is how it was described, and I use it here and there. I'm not, like, the biggest fan of it. This KVD powder sample, which I'm trying to use up, and then a Bella Pierre one as well, which I also uh, quite like. I think that came in one of my boxes. I have the Dewy Set from Anastasia for when I feel like I need a little life. And then the Tarte Found Sealer, which I really think is nice. I don't even know if they still make some of these things because I've had them for so long, but if they do, I really like that foundation. And then this is the powder sunscreen. It's living right here for now, but once uh, spring and summer comes and I'm outdoors a lot more, this lives in my purse. And then the stay spray, which I don't find myself needing that often, but it's nice for when you're gonna be out of the house for a long time and need your makeup to maintain its, uh, its look. So yeah, that is everything here. And then this little container is just where I keep the items that come in my boxes each month that I want to make sure I wear in a video and show you guys. So right now we have the Estate, what is this, on Wednesdays, yes, uh, palette, and then the items that came in my Medusa's makeup bag, which I just filmed. So that is everything in my top drawer. My second drawer down has palettes, all palettes, so um, even if it's like a blush palette, it's usually here because it won't fit where I have all my like single blushes. Then I've got highlighters and single eyeshadows as well, and then clean brushes that are tucked away um, for whenever I need them. 
So here are all the items that live in my second drawer. Let's start going through these. All the way in the back of my drawer lives these lash products. I don't wear false lashes very often, but when I do, I've got these items here and I don't need to go buy anything. Usually it's like for a wedding or whatever, but um, is this glue? Yeah, this is lash glue and then here's a little lash glue. And, little applicator so I don't really use this stuff often but it's the kind of thing where it's like eventually you'll need it and I've got it here and I don't have to go buy it which is nice um then I have this product from Kaylin the just mineral eye polish I really like the way this looks it just doesn't really have a spot to live in any of these one-off shadow things I guess I'll let it live there for now but it just kind of sits wherever I find space for it in the drawer. Then we have palettes. This is the NARS Guy Borden, I think is how it's called, palette. This is really old and it's broken so I have to hold it but it doesn't look like it but I've actually used this palette a lot even though it looks barely touched. So that is a really nice blush palette with all the nastiness that NARS packaging always gets. Then we have the Urban Decay on the Run palette. Now this one is one I've not used a lot. Um, I am not the kind of person anymore that really wants to put energy into depotting things. But this palette takes up so much space. So I've really contemplated it. I just don't feel like it. And the thing is, all of the items are pretty nice. I mean, the bronzer is a little orangey, but... For the most part, all of the shadows and the blush and the highlighter, they're really nice. So I don't want to just like give this away and get rid of it, but this is so bulky. It takes up so much space. So this is an item I've really been thinking about, like what the future of it is for a while. I have the Tartlet palette. Just really nice uh, neutrals, which I really haven't used much. And I should probably use more because it's really nice. Then this is a newer item to my collection, the Kimchi and Plastic Tiara Blush Bronzer and Highlighter Palette. It really wants to like shut itself, but here's what it looks like. It's a really nice palette. Every color in here is gorgeous. Then I have a Z palette from the era in which I did depot things and uh, not a lot in here because I gave up on that project very quickly because it's annoying to depot things. But uh, some old MAC, some old Wet n Wild, Ulta Beauty eyeshadows. So yeah, I keep these because I actually do reach for some of these quite often. But uh, it is annoying to work with this Z palette because not everything was magnetized. And so some of the stuff just slides around. Here is the next little pile of palettes that we're going to look through. This is a palette from 100% Pure. It's their Fruit Pigmented Pretty Naked palette. If I could open it with one hand. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And this is kind of a full face palette. There's not really like a highlighter per se, but the blush has shimmer to it. So it could really be like a full face palette. Really nice super pretty. I like that a lot. I did enjoy using that. I've only used it once because I'm constantly trying new things and I don't wear makeup every day, but it is a nice palette. Then we have the Plastic Tiara and Kimchi eyeshadow palettes. I bought the full set from them because I'm crazy and I don't need this stuff, but I bought it anyway. So here's the Plastic eyeshadow palette, which is gorgeous. I really, really love those colors. And the kimchi one is also really beautiful, but with more pops of color. Really nice. Obsessed with that. Then we have the old school Lorac Pro palette. I've actually used this quite a lot. This is in bad shape. Um, I've traveled with it quite, quite extensively. So, yeah. That has received a lot of love over the years. And then we have the Just a Girl palette from Trixie Cosmetics, which is another blush palette, and these colors are really nice. The only thing is Trixie blushes get so powdery, really messy, but really pretty. Now moving on to the boxes of goodies. Like I mentioned, these are all my brushes. There's like e.l.f. brushes, there's 
Cicero brushes, which are fantastic. I highly recommend. There are some of these, what were these called? Real Techniques brushes. Yeah, just, I've, I've accumulated a lot of random brushes over the years. I think I'm gonna go ahead and unpack these each and then show you all the stuff individually. So from my eyeshadow box, we'll start with these. I have three MAC palettes. So I think these all came already assembled the way they were in collections, uh, but this one's got shimmery neutrals. This one has kind of a full look of purples. And then this was the Cinderella one. I've not really used any of these very much, but I do really like the coloring. The other little uh, palette I have is this teeny tiny one from Peony, which I just got pretty recently in a subscription. I think this actually came with the Medusa's makeup subscription, which was a lot because it wasn't their makeup. I cannot open this with one hand. Hold on. There we go. And you can see it's very pretty, but just very tiny. So I guess that makes it good for travel, but yeah, it's just so tiny. And then I have these two liquid eyeshadows from Medusa's makeup. Let's see, the Sophia and Ava. And these are really nice products. I really like these. So here are all my single eyeshadows and loose eyeshadows. As you can see, a lot of them actually are from Medusa's makeup. They make really good high quality products, which is really nice. So here are a lot of the, I guess these would be like loose eyeshadows, eye dusts. Although well, I think one is a glitter uh, duochrome eye dust. Yeah, this one's a glitter. This one is also an eye dust. So these are really nice products, really, really pretty. But the glitter you need to be careful with. It can be a little loose. You don't wanna get fall out, but I really like those. And then we have the Baked eyeshadows. Now they have two different lines. One line is the um, bold and one is the neutral, but I find that even in the bold line, all, some of them are neutral. So that's kind of weird, but these are also really nice eyeshadows. So let's see, we've got Just a Girl, Mood, Woke, Brunch, and Envy. These are all really nice. Then I have two of the mystical eye dusts. Yeah. And it's hard to kind of see what color those are, but I have two of those. Let's see. Psyche and Ganesha. I have this Nude by Nature eyeshadow, which came in one of my boxes. Oh, that was easy to open with one hand. Just a dark brown. Two of these Medusa's makeup, just standard eyeshadows, I think. Glam Rock eyeshadow and totally baked eyeshadow. So they're like always making a million different lines, but I just got two of those. I like how these store look nice and flat. Then we have an RMS Beauty eyeshadow. If I can open it, there we go. Taupey color. And then two loose eyeshadows, one from Bella Pierre and one from Artist Couture. And you can kind of see the colors there. Here's everything I had in my little highlighter box. So from Hourglass, I have the trio of highlighters here. Not a highlighter, but I have a really old bronze goddess bronzer. And I really don't have much bronzer so I figure hold on to that when I'm done the pop beauty one I don't have to buy a new one I've already got that one from K Voss this is a little highlighting palette which is really nice very nice quality products I went ahead and opened all these to like help myself so I didn't have to struggle through opening them I didn't open this one though because you can kind of see the color through from Medusa's makeup and then Armas Beauty this one is really nice this brand Laritzi Cosmetics. I'd never heard of this brand before, but this highlighter is really, really nice. And then I have a ColourPop one that I got um, as a little like bridesmaid gift from a friend's wedding. And this little Ibby one, which is so cute, so tiny. It'd be a nice one for travel. 
two backups of the Alikia Beauty uh, Eliminator, which I love, although the packaging changed, but I think they're the same product. And then this little peak uh, cream blusher, which would also be nice to travel with because of how tiny it is. But um, I don't know why I don't have this with the blush. I guess I could put it with the blush, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's everything I had in that little box. In my third drawer down, we have lipsticks, lip glosses, lip stains, liquid lipsticks, all the lip stuff. And then we also have uh, cheek stains and uh, cream cheek products. We've got one, two blush uh, palettes that happen to fit in here, and then a couple of containers of my single blushes that, that is broken. So that's why that opens like that. But I'll pull these out and we can take a look at these. Here is everything that is in my third drawer, mostly lip stuff, because I'm kind of a lip junkie, but yeah. Let's go ahead and start looking through this. First, we have my Trixie Cosmetics items. So, of course, the Red Scare lipstick. And I kept the box because I really liked it. I don't really keep the boxes for things, but I just kept it for that one because I like it. And then these are my glosses that I have from Trixie. So, I've got Snow Cone. Um, can't read through the screen. It's not focusing. Press On. Ginger Spice. Cream Puff and High Ponytail. These don't fit in my little holder because of the shape and size, so they just sit to the side in a little pyramid in my drawer. I also have some other lipsticks that don't really fit in the holder either. So this is from Lip Power, and this is the Tiffany um, liquid lipstick. And then we have a Medusa's Makeup one and Triple X. Now, the Medusa's makeup one will fit, but like barely. It won't go all the way down. So, I've just got it to the side. And then the Rena Beauty lipsticks, which honestly, if I could go through a bunch of lipsticks and be done with a bunch of these, I'd buy like every color of Rena, Rena Beauty lipstick. Lisa Rena, polarizing housewife, but these lipsticks she makes are fantastic. I've also heard the lip glosses and lip liners are really good too. So, love those so much and then i have from kim chi chic beauty my uh lip liner that came with a set of the plastic tiara line that i purchased other things that aren't in these containers i've got these two blush palettes the k voss blush palette let's see if i can get that open which is really beautiful and the hourglass blush palette which i've actually used a ton of there are significant dips in those um, really nice. And then other things, I've got my Urban Decay Pencil Sharpener that I use for lip products exclusively. So I have one for eye, one for lip. From Medusa's Makeup, I have the XO XO Cheek Stain, which is a really nice product. It looks really good, but I think I'm actually going to end up getting rid of this because I don't prefer stains over cream products. So, and now that my little basket of cream products is getting full, I really should probably let some things go. So I'm going to actually put this in a pile of things to give to a friend. Then we have the Bella Pierre um, Loose Blush in Desert Rose, which is a really pretty color. It just doesn't really fit in there, so it's just sitting out. And then this little container of cream blushes. So we have this one from Eagolips, and this is in Nude. This is gorgeous. And then this is the Tiger Lily one from Medusa's Makeup, a Milk Makeup one, and this is in Work. This one is from Bordeaux Glow. No, this is from Han in the colors Bordeaux Glow, which is really nice. And then this is the one that I've worn in a recent video, the Jing Eye. I really like that too. So, I'm gonna put these all back in there. And then I'm actually going to add this peak one in there too. Moving on, let's look at the blushes. So these are all my single blushes. We have Stereo Rose from MAC. The MAC Simpsons collab, which I actually won in a YouTube giveaway. But the color is amazing. 
really beautiful corally color. I've used that a lot and it still has the image impressed, which is pretty impressive. Another Mac, this is the Kelly Osborne one. Then we have some Tarte Amazonian clay blushes. These were all like limited edition ones from holiday sets. So this one is called Thankful. This one is called Treasured. This one is called Honored. And this one, which I used a lot and had been traveling with for a while, is called Imagined and it is broken. I was trying to finish that one up for a while, but I kind of got bored, which is why I switched to the other MAC one that I had in my top drawer. Here we have two cargo blushes. So I have Bali and Ibiza. Ibiza. And every time I think, oh, I can let go of these, I don't reach for them often, I actually use them and then I figure out I love them and then they get tucked away again. So uh, that is my circular process with the cargo blushes. We have this one from Hakari. This is Tango. Then this Beats and Blush color in Athena. Let me see. That's a cream blush. Or it says creamy blush. So yeah, that's a cream. That's a really nice color. Then we have Ginger and Gold from Seraphine Botanicals. I got a couple of products like this from... Is this 100% Pure? No. Habit Cosmetics? Something like that. So this is Pretty Baby. I think I had another product like that that was like an eye product or a highlighter or something and I ended up giving that away is what I was thinking. This is... Denor, and that's a pretty coral. And this one is from or Orgamics? Orglamics. I, I can't say that word. <laughs> and this was a really pretty one too, although you can't really see the color at this angle. And so these are my blushes, and I think that's all the blush I have to show, which I have too much of. And it will take me 10 million years to get through, but I do like blush. And then lastly, we have all my lip products. So I've got all my taller stuff in this container. I do not remember what company I got these containers from. Uh, but I know it was some kind of online company that a lot of people get their containers from. I don't remember what it was called off the top of my head. So on this end, we've got a few Anastasia products. Um, I think five of them. I got that in a set that I didn't really need to buy, but I did anyway. Then I have all of my Medusa's makeup, liquid lipsticks, or glosses. A few MAC ones um, that I really need to work on finishing up because these are pretty old. Two um, Rimmel products, the show-off lip lacquers. Just a couple neutral colors. And then these... Brenda Hearts, Dylan Hearts, Kelly glosses that have come in various Medusa's makeup boxes. I've got two of those. Who is this one by? Kelly. That actually is a really nice little gloss, um, much like the Joair one. Joair, Joair, I cannot say this word. But it's a nice one to just throw on for a meeting to just look a little more put together. And then these are all like random. The Melted Matte Talic Too Faced. That was my wedding color. Um, Charlotte Cook. What is this called? Atomic Makeup. And then this is an e.l.f. lip color. It's just a really tall lip pencil and a clear lip liner. And then Fully Fire and a ColourPop one that um, also is a Hello Kitty one. This is the color my friend wanted us all to wear at her wedding. Then we have this first tray of lipsticks. So these are mostly like neutrally colors or if they are a bright color, it's one that would be next in line to go into my use up stash because I've used a decent amount of it. So um, it's Anastasia, Maybelline, Tarte, uh, plenty of MAC. I think this is a Lancome or an Estee Lauder. Uh, more MAC. Uh, what is this one? Eddie Funkhauser. So that's from a Wantable Box a million years ago. Um, Sydney? I don't know. Miranese? 
I don't even know what brand that is, to be honest. Um, the Evio Skin. Uh, I don't know what brand that is. And then these are all Medusa's makeup ones. Although these ones aren't technically, these are Lovebird, but they came in Medusa's makeup um, packages. And then another one of these Bites, that, but it's just here because it's neutral. Um, these Tarte Lip Quench things. Love these. These are really nice. This was a Christmas two set. I really like those. These are the colors that came in the Kimchi Chic Plastic Tiara collab. And then this is a stain from Air Perez. So that's everything in this one. In this tray we have brighter um, and darker colors. So back here, like this is a black lipstick from NYX. These are all really vampy reds vampy um colors from bite and mac these are all mac and then a whole bunch of maybelline i don't know why i feel the need to buy whole collections but at the time i bought the whole collection for the mattes and for these vibrant ones so i've got all of those that need using up bunch of mac this is another estee water or long comb or something and then this random one over here from Millennium? I don't even know what brand that is. But yeah, these are all the brighter, deeper red to orange to kind of purpley ish, as purple as I think will work on me. So that is all of those. This is the last drawer I have makeup type things in. And this is for my nail polishes. So these are nail polishes that I have not worn in this rotation yet. And these are ones that I have and decided to keep. I'm constantly going through all of my nail polishes because I just feel like I have too many. And trying them all on and seeing if I still like them, see if I like the consistency, all that stuff. And I end up decluttering quite a few every cycle I go through. So, yeah. And then I also have the wire and the pamphlet that came with my mirror. So I'll pull those out and we can take a closer look at these. Here are the last bit of items I wanted to go through in this video. So it's nail polish. I've not bought nail polish in a very long time. So a lot of these I have owned for a really long time unless it's a base coat um, or a top coat or it's come in one of my subscriptions because I have not been purchasing anything unless it's literally like base or top to replace being done with a base or top. So let's go through. These are my keep box. I've just got some generic clippers. And as far as base coats go, I actually haven't bought either of these. These both came in subscription boxes. And they're both from Dr. Remedy. One is the bio-sourced base coat. And the other one is the hydrating treatment, which also functions as a base coat. The item I did buy is the top coat. And this is from Ella and Mila. And it's a pretty good top coat. I quite like that. And here are my keeps. So we've got a couple of OPI. A whole lot of these Julie G nail colors. I was obsessed with those when they came out. So I bought tons of them. And no, no regret here. Because they are some of my favorite colors. Um, I've got a Sally Hansen Insta Dry. A whole bunch of these. Formula X for Sephora. Which I really liked a lot of the colors in that line too. This is one from a subscription box recently this 10 free chemistry one and then even older some of these sephora by for opi or by opi ones only got a couple of those left and then there is one for black radiance so that is everything in the keep pile so far and like i mentioned i go in cycles so that is what is has survived um this most recent cycle i have had more than that but i've given a few away over here in the keep pile, we have some knocked over, better pick them up, but I just have a little travel case um, that has tools and stuff. I don't use this often, but if I'm going to like a beach or something like that for a long time, I like to have that with me just in case because sand can kind of mess up your nails. And then I've got a couple of little random clippers over here. I've got a travel size and a regular um, file and these are crystal files some little stones if I ever feel like getting creative 
toe separators, and then these are little dotting tools if I ever want to do a design. That's me being really ambitious because I never want to do that stuff. This came in a box recently and I haven't uh, worn these yet. There are nail wraps. And then in here we've got like a bajillion different brands. So we have some various Sally Hansen stuff, OPI, um, L'Oreal, that's probably as old as I am. And then more of these Julie G ones. Um, I don't even know what that one is. More Sally Hansen, different brand. This is a Kiko one that my roommate from Italy when I lived abroad brought me from when she went home. Um, she brought that back for me. Funky Fingers, that's like five below nail polish. And then another Black Radiance. What is this one? Maybelline. Lots of these Sephora Formula X ones. Sephora by OPI ones. I think I've got two of those. I don't even know what brand this is. I can't even read it. Nicole? Nicole by OPI? I don't know. Um, Face Stockholm. Some of these random ones came in uh, subscriptions back in the day when I would get Wantable or um, Birchbox. So this is a Ruffian one. Do I have another one? Yeah, I've got two of those Ruffian ones. This came from H&M. Like, I've just got a lot of random ones. So, just working my way through all of these. And they're like, literally, I've had this for, I don't know, I've probably had this box lid for like seven or eight years um, that I've been carrying them in. They just keep going from house to house with me. So, and it works. You don't need anything fancy for storage. You can literally use box lids. So, that is my nail polish collection as it stands right now, although I'm looking to continue to refine. So that was my makeup collection. Let me know what you thought about this video, my storage. It's very simplistic storage for the most part. And um, my collection itself. If there's anything you want like a detailed overview of, definitely leave that in the comments. But otherwise, thanks for being here. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video comments down below. Subscribe if you'd like to stick around for a while and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!